welcome to the project demonstration of real time air quality monitoring system with uh, prediction of uh, environment by using decision tree algorithm as well as random forest by comparing these two algorithms we are going to identify the which one is the like high accuracy and that will be displayed on this lcd screen with percentage to monitor the air quality uh, we are making use of three sensors and from there we are going to monitor the four parameters one is the dht11 there's a digital humidity and temperature and next mq4 and mq sorry mq7 and mq135 air quality sensor as well as the co2 sensor co2 sensor this four parameters monitored by the raspberry pi 3 we are using this and here these two provide the analog data as the raspberry pi doesn't consist of a to d converter so for that purpose we are making use of nano which will convert the analog to serial so there the stage is like analog to digital conversion will be done by this one and the next the digital values is converting into the serial means analog to digital digital to serial that serial data can be read by this raspberry pi 3 and it will read that it will extract these two values and next it will read directly dst11 which was interface directly to the our raspberry pi 3 So these three or four parameters continuously displayed on the LCD screen, and the next, if you want to predict the environment status, we need to select the algorithm which uh, we need to prefer to predict that. So the above switch is the random forest, and below switch is the uh, decision tree algorithms. So when you select that, it will check with the data set. At least in it needs twenty five samples. So after that only it can estimate the uh, environmental details. And also continuously we are going to upload in the same details to the ThinkSpeak cloud platform into this our channel. So when we log into that, we can see the channel. So click on this, and there we can see the previously tested data. There is the humidity. And next temperature, and next MQ one thirty five, as well as MQ zero seven, MQ one MQ zero seven. So you can erase the old data. So before erasing that, go to download. So there we get the data in Excel sheet. So now there we can see the date and time, and how many samples till now we have collected, and the humidity, temperature. And uh, MQ one thirty five and MQ seven details. So after that, now we can clear channel by go to channel settings. You can clear the channel to get the uh, live details. Now it's clear. Now go to private view. Private view to see the live data. Channel settings to clear the channel data inputs to download that. Now the channel got cleared. So after that, the very first step is we need to on the hotspot in your phone. So for that, go to hotspot settings of your uh, go to settings and configure that to project 5824 without any space, without any capital letter, and password should be 12345689, and AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz. After that, select that and on the hotspot and data, and now on the power supply to the Raspberry Pi. So it will take 20 to 30 seconds for booting. Once the booting was successfully done, then there will be a welcome message displayed on the LCD screen. as you can see that one device got connected and now stay on the screen and wait till the system read the data and analyzed so meanwhile we will explain with the connections so right? we got the aq nothing but air quality sensor mq135 mq7 co2 sensor and temperature and humidity values temperature in degree centigrade humidity in percentage so we can see the data is arriving now so meanwhile Uh, before the samples got collected so if we select the any switch now to predict the uh, environment right need more samples so it can't estimate the environmental details now so let it collect so let me explain the connection so we have interface this mq7 for a0 pin and mq135 a1 pin of our nano board and from there transmitter pin of this nano board is connected to the receiving pin of our raspberry pi 3 that is the 15th pin and the next dst11 interface at the 18th pin and lcd interface at pin number 17 27 22 9 10 11 pins of our pi 3 and esp model connected the transmitting pin that is the 14th pin of our uh, raspberry pi 3 so we have collected some samples right now if we select the Decision tree, sorry, is random forest one. Above is a random forest one.
right and i was selected now it is loading and it is normal as of now there is no abnormal details are coming from this sensors so let me make the abnormality by increasing the humidity so right now humidity got increased now if you want to select the prediction one so is 99% is a chance for raining one and also if you select the day swing tree so is 99% so there is a bit low difference you can select it now day swing tree so here the, by comparing these two we can conclude that random forest providing the bit more accuracy than the decentry algorithm so the main inputs for this algorithm are mm -hmm. like air quality input and mq7 input and temperature and humidity so in real time we can place the more number of sensors for due to limitations we are using only three sensors with four parameters here one more component is like this is the breadboard to distribute the five volts power supply throughout the input and output modules in our projects